In this video, we'll look at linking slices together, making it easier to navigate your data without having long lists to trawl through. We'll be using this grid on screen as the report we will filter. So let's filter by product dimension and add a slicer into the space at the top here. I'll choose the product hierarchy, select the button style, and then choose the subcategory level. I'll resize the button slicer and its content so it's easier to read. And the next stage is to connect the slicer to the grid. So to do that, I'll open up the member selector for the product and choose the slicer. And if we now click on different products, the information updates, as you can see. Now this is a fairly large dimension and we're having to scroll up and down to find the members we want. And ideally we'd want to limit the list brought back. So, to do this, I'll add a second slicer at a higher level. So again, I'll pick the products, this time at the category level. Now we need to link the two slicers so one runs from the other. So to do this, I'll edit the lower level slicer, and instead of having all the subcategories, I'll link it to the other slicer, so I've just inserted, and I'll have the descendants of that selection at the subcategory level. So, we now have a far shorter list to choose from, there's no scrolling required, and our cube structure is preserved. I can also easily navigate between the different categories. So that's a simple but effective way of using report filtering when you have large dimensions. Another common scenario is having sparse cubes. That is a cube with a lot of blanks in the data. So if we go back to the initial report, we can see there are some blanks in the data. In this cube, it isn't too bad, but we'll use it as a simple example to illustrate the use of slicers. This time, I'm going to slice my report by the geography and date dimensions. So firstly, I'll insert a slicer on geography. For this, I'm going to be filtering at the country level. And we'll resize that again. And next, we'll do the date dimension, so it's the same process again. Pick date, and this time I'm going to filter by year. Now, we just need to hook the report up to use the new slicers. On the date dimension, I'm going to say instead of all the years, we'll use the new slicer at quarter level. And for the geography, I'm going to say instead of bringing back all the countries, I just want to see the state province level of the selected country. So, as you can see, we can toggle between the various filters and see our report update dynamically. The main problem, as you'll see, is often we have no data in the report, and in a lot of cubes, you can end up playing a game of hunt the data trying to find your information. What I'd really like to do is restrict the slices so that the selections available represent those which have data available. So to do this, I'm first going to go in and edit the country slicer. And what I'll do is I'll put a restriction on the dates saying I only want to bring back the members for the selected date from the other slicer. And now I'll carry out the same procedure on the date dimensions. Here, I'm going to say only show me dates which are relevant for the selected country. And now when I run the report, each slicer affects the other. So when I change a year, I see the relevant countries and vice versa. When I select a country, I see the relevant years. So I'm always looking at relevant data and I'm not spending a lot of time looking at blank reports. So what we have seen shows how useful slicers can be when you have a sparse cube and you want to filter down the members you are offering to the user.